Hello panel friends. Uh, I'm here to demonstrate the uh, little remote controlled tilt panel head that I've developed to put on top of my Noble Ninja travel pole so I don't have to lower it in order to take multi-row uh, apparatus from the top of a pole. The, um, the camera is equipped with, uh, in this case it's an APS-C Sony and it's equipped with an 8mm Samyang that uh, is a diagonal fisheye, meaning that it doesn't quite cover zenith to nadir and you need to tilt it down a bit and take a row and then either shoot straight up or what I prefer to do, tilt it up a bit and take another full row and then you have Plenty of material for stitching an action panorama. Well, this gadget is uh, a Noble Ninja Mecha E1 rotator mounted on some arms salvaged from various other Noble Ninja pano heads. Uh, the lower arm here is actually the upper arm of a Noble Ninja 3. Uh, now, the whole idea was to make it as light and compact as possible because it's going to be up on top of a pole. So, um, and the really important thing is that it's operated by a simple push button from the ground. To use it, you first mount the camera on the rail here. I put a arca clamp on the bottom of this camera so we can attach it with a minimum of hardware and then we have to place the camera manually in a straight up position that's, that's the home position for the control software and it doesn't know any absolute position so you have to just place it there yourself before you power on the mecha controller which I'm doing now uh, this thing has already been programmed to respond to pulses from a simple radio remote control unit that um, this is a very old young Wo controller that I uh, re pressed back into service for this because uh, it's a totally different size and shape from my 63C young Wo's and I won't have any confusion when I reach into my pocket whether I'm grabbing the controller for the tilt unit or for the camera. I, I don't have the remote on the camera right now because we're not really going to shoot a picture but uh, if we were there would be a second uh, radio remote attached to its shutter release port. Um, this thing should now be ready to go and uh, thanks to the excellent firmware work of uh, Nodal Ninja it's um, operation is reduced to three simple button presses that even a fool like me can't mix up. One full press goes from home position to 15 degrees down, which is my standard lower row. One full press again. Nothing happens. It stays there. Wonderful. Half press. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to make it... Well, this isn't working right, quite right. Let's see if that works. Two full presses takes me back to home position. Okay, for some reason, I'll bet I left out the comma again. You leave out the comma, 
and the command strings when you're programming it. The commands don't work. At any rate, go to lower row. There we go. I just didn't half press half enough. Upper row. Snap, 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 snap. Tick, tick, click, 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 click. Go back to lower row. Turn, 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 turn. Click, 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 click. This is what I learned from my Ayrton 360. Uh, if I decide that I would like to take a uh, nader sh uh, zenith shot, I just Let me go back to home, click. Beautiful. Uh, the, the lower row position, in combination with the fact that I've got the camera uh, about five millimeters in front of the nodal point, the no parallax point. Actually, in this case, it's not, but I, I could push it a little forward, which would give me clear view to the ground. Remember, I'll, I'll be using uh, a pole and walking around it as I turn it. So um, you don't really need to take a nader shot. But if you do, you do like this. And that's it. This is really pole nirvana because uh, I've spent an awful lot of time lowering and raising my Hole just to get the, just to adjust the tilt of the pano head. This does it for me. Thanks for watching.